whatever shift is happening at the climate, it's, it's for our favor as sportsmen in Northeast Ohio. With the way the weather shift and steelhead season's in full swing, January and February. It's been the norm for the last few years. We've really seen that late January through February window sort of turn on. So it's a welcome change. I don't know what lies ahead, but, but I'm liking it. <laughs> Mr. Blackie was a great angler. He, uh, he knew what he was doing with a fly rod. You know, it was really a great experience to introduce somebody who owns a winery locally, uh, though based out of Dallas, very familiar with the area, and he's never caught a steelhead here, so. Oh yeah. Got it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job. Alright. So that's a spawned out female. She's she's probably been 30 miles upriver, dropped her payload, making her way back down. That's amazing. Super willing participant for us. They're yeah. hungry, they're going back. <laughs> Kind of like a brown trout. Very similar <clears throat> to the sea runs, very yeah. similar. Yeah. To have that opportunity to show him our fishery, show him our facility, catch fish on the property with spectacular weather, that's a great experience. We didn't see an angler. We had the river to ourselves. Flows were great. Tough to beat, man. That's, that's tough to beat right there. You know, one thing about winter steelhead is they're not always willing to move too far for a fly. So if you are adamant about swinging flies and it's your passion, you have to adjust your presentation. You've got to adjust the water you're fishing, the fly size, you know, and, and that's really, in my opinion, in our area, when the two-handed presentation shines. You know, um, Gary was fishing a single-handed rod, Atlantic salmon fisherman, working the fly perfectly, manipulating it with some strips, adding movement, uh, which is really, what we're looking for the majority of the season but during those winter flows high water you know being able to dredge a bigger sink tip and fish an unweighted fly and keep it in the zone for the majority of the presentation is key you know we just we weren't able to find those fish sitting in the tops of the buckets and on the lips and fish that are pressing up into the next pool because they were all holding in, in the back boulder fields not quite the tail outs it was nice weather but it was one of the colder days you know and that was a high of 50 and I think the river dropped four degrees in temperature that day so it was a welcome change but those fish have to have time to adjust <laughs> oh. oh man. When you've got a downfall or a, a decrease in water temperature, it's tough to beat an indicator presentation. You have total control of the speed of the fly. Your drift is completely at the speed you mandate it, and you're able to pick water apart. There you go, catch up to him. Sucker. Really? Sucker. We did get into some silver fish, some clean fish. Luckily, he was he's a great angler and he knew how to handle a fish that rips line. I mean, we saw our backing. To have fish pulling like that in February, that's really special situation. Really, I have to, I'll, I'll adjust off the view. Good. 
Having the ability to, to interact with many fish in a day is great, but it's not necessary. A big belief of ours is to set proper expectations. You're dealing with a patagromous fish that's moving through a river system. Here today, gone tomorrow. I always say the benchmark of a really good steelhead experience in our area is interacting with six fish in a day. What you got there, John? A really well hung steelhead. <laughs> There's a pretty crummer there. Could you hook more? Sometimes. Are there days where you grind it out for one? There are. There's no reason to fish much harder. You know, if you're having that opportunity, you're floating down a beautiful river, spending time in a beautiful resource, take some time to look up. Think about more than just the fish. That's, that's something not enough people are doing. Another good one? Most resources that are special are, are loved to death. And as, as we bring our resource on the map, I'm pretty adamant myself and the team to set proper expectations, only put as much pr uh, pressure on the resource as necessary. I don't have to hook 20 to know that I'm doing the right thing. We're in the tail end of steelhead season here. We've got you know roughly a month left, uh, depending on what our spring looks like, but we're getting ready to transition into one of my favorite times of year. Lake run smallmouth game is on fire. Fishing on the big lake is heating up. Walleye are moving shallow. Smallmouth are in the shallows. You know, you've got some great steelhead opportunities with drop back fish leaving. Pike are on post spawn. Muskie are on pre spawn. It's a great window. And on, on top of that, we're entering the greatest time of year, turkey season. Come out to CBO. Like and follow, subscribe, check the lodge out. Let us help you make a memory.